Hi, I am Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. Acts chapter 4, verses 29 and 30. And now, O Lord, hear their threats. Give us, your servants, great boldness in preaching your word. Stretch out your hand with healing power. May miraculous signs and wonders be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Having been ordered by the Jewish council to keep quiet, Peter and John returned to their Christian friends to update them. Their response was to pray, and what a beautiful prayer it is. You might have expected them to ask God to sort out their opponents, but they didn't. They simply asked God for more boldness to continue their ministry and prayed for yet more miraculous signs and wonders. The pressure of the authorities wasn't going to silence them for a moment. I've had the privilege of meeting with a number of Christians who suffered greatly for their faith. During the communist era, a friend and I visited Romania and met with a prominent Christian leader. We knew that we were being followed during our visit and so we went to a secret location to hear his story away from prying eyes and ears. He told us about the repeated threats he'd received from the secret police. In Pakistan, I met a man who was rejected by his family, thrown out of his village, and threatened with death when he became a Christian. I have so much respect for those who have had to exhibit real courage and boldness to maintain their Christian witness. Such threats are not typical of our society but it still requires considerable boldness to speak up for Jesus when people are instinctively suspicious and even nervous of those who have strong religious convictions. We've probably all felt the temptation to say nothing just in case our Christian beliefs were misunderstood or misrepresented or people thought us strange. We need to pray for godly boldness so that we speak up for the Lord whatever reaction we face. So let me ask you a question. Do you need more boldness to speak about your faith? And now let me pray with you. Loving God, help us to share the good news that you've given to us with grace and boldness. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I do encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And don't forget that the talks are also available on podcast, which you can access at any time. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.